It was very emotional. Woo! Mine's tiny. Emma was snoring. Morning, everyone. It is now Silverstone. It's the penultimate round of the season. Um, we've got this and then Brands Hatch GP. Um, literally, just over there is the BRDC. And over there is the team. So that's a, a nice little perk for the weekend, parking nice and close. Um, I got an interview with Bristol Street Motors in BRDC this morning, uh, which should be good. And then we got shakedown at um, half past one. Um, so yeah, other than that, it's quite straightforward today. Making sure the car's okay. It's quite dull here, but it looks like it's gonna be dry all weekend. So um, yeah, um, excited for this one. Really busy weekend. We've got lots of guests, lots of guests. Um, so it's been a bit stressful leading up to the weekend, but everything's all sorted and ready to go now. So um, so yeah, fingers crossed. Let's have um, let's have a good weekend. We've got. Um, We've got a little bit of a weird setup in the garage this weekend. Um, obviously, being at Silverstone, there's there's loads of room, uh, but two two things you can see there: the cars are facing the different direction to what they normally face. Normally, face the uh, pit lane, and then obviously, with all the cars are staggered, um, which is a little bit odd. This is quite cool. We've got this in the middle, but the reason why they're staggered is we've got a really large garage here mine's tiny and then ingram's is normal but it's weird like if you look at it, it makes no difference but um the garage is huge so that's good um guys are just finishing the setup on the car we've got develop logo going on the wing of the car today so that's good um, we just printed off a lot more wheel god stickers which need to go on the bumpers there because we keep running out of bumpers this year um, and yeah so all good so just heading over to the BRDC now I've got uh, this interview with Bristol Street Motors um, they've got a list of questions they're gonna ask me really good ones to be fair as you know I don't like boring questions so uh, but these questions are really good about the season and everything that everything that's gone on basically um so i think there's like 10 12 questions and um i'm gonna do it in the brdc which is cool um my race lead another sponsor on which is good and um yeah see how it all comes out we're literally just getting set up um all the lighting's here obviously we're in the brdc uh, which has been very kind enough to let us use and uh, we're going to run through these questions most of the time I've, I've got a lot of sponsors that work very hard behind the scenes so the biggest thing to prepare for a race weekend is just making sure i've got everything done nice and early um ideally i love to have like the thursday afternoon off so I just finished the interview with bristol street motors um it was very emotional. <laughs> uh, we just talked about every, everything through the season, really, and uh, the crash and everything, like down to details, and didn't really hold up very well, to be honest. Uh, so that was interesting. Didn't help the, that the person who was asking me the questions started tearing up as well, so then that set me off. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, we're just ready. Obviously, we've got this odd format. Cars facing towards uh, the paddock. So flip it round and then we'll head out there and um, shake down. Obviously we don't do the full lap, so it's a bit weird here because it's such a short lap. We only get the run down to Maggots and Beckett's and then Brooklands and Luffield and then we're through the pit lane again. Um, so we never have a run at turn one and we never carry the speed down to Maggots and Beckett's. So because we're slower, we end up braking later. So you don't really get a proper reading. Um, like we do throughout the throughout the test session, so but we get a feel for it anyway. We've just finished shakedown. Um, everything went well. Car feels good. Uh, made a little tweak in the middle of a session, uh, but other than that, nothing nothing to report really. All felt good. Um, look at some data. Have a look what that tweak did. Um, a couple of bits we need to look at uh, engine wise. Um, but yeah, other than that, we've got a chilled afternoon now. Um, relax and then um, get ready for tomorrow. So this weekend I'm lucky enough to have Emma here all weekend. Yeah, it's 
So that means when I get back from the track and um, instead of having some quiet time, Emma asks me questions, she asks me how the no, day's gone. Uh, then when I'm quiet because I'm trying to chill out, she asks me if I'm okay, then I bite and then I say, yeah, I'm, I am okay. And then we argue. Um, and when we get that two nights we this weekend. Argue. No, we don't argue. We, don't um, we get that two nights this weekend, don't we? So that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we were early on. Yeah, um, so I'm looking forward to all the questions. Um, and then we've got a tiny room and I've got sleeping problems. So, on my bed. so I'm sleeping on this bed and I'm giving Emma this one. Oh, you, are you because about? I'm a gentleman. So I'm sleeping on the floor this weekend. That's how nice I am. How are you lucky, Emma? It's a good thing I'm smart. Morning, everyone. Um, <laughs> night sleep. Emma was snoring. Good to have your girlfriend here all weekend. All weekend. Isn't that right, Emma? Mm -hmm. Morning, everyone. Um, just got to the circuit. It's actually freezing this morning. It's um, seven degrees. Um, so definitely one of the coldest mornings of the um, race week, race calendar so far, anyway. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Looking forward to this morning, we've got driver's briefing, two practices, qualifying, standard um, standard procedure really. Qualifying's a bit earlier today, it's five past three. That's it really, standard day. So we just finished free practice one, it was all right, we were P8. Um, our carryover tyres weren't the best, so um, P8's not a bad start. Um, got a bit of an oversteer issue, but we just found out the rear wheel bearings are a bit loose, so we need to replace those. Because uh, that might be causing the issue, it'd make a lot of sense. Um, so, yeah, a few tweaks. Um, got some better tyres for FP2. So, yeah, good start to the weekend. Good start. So, FP2, we were P13. Uh, we ran new tyres as well, so we were struggling. I was 13, I think Ingram was 14, and Chilton was 15. So, we're, um, yeah, we're struggling. So, we just had a big um, debrief and we've come up with a solution. Well, we think we have for uh, quality. So, as always, uh, Daz is working hard on um, on getting everything ready. There's only 55 minutes to go. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. It's, uh, it's quite um, it's quite a large change. So yeah, fingers crossed. Just heading back to the hotel. We qualified ninth in the end, which is which was good. The the change that we made to the car, it was a big change, and um, it was definitely a positive. Um, but there was definitely an opportunity to be in the top five then we just got really held up by um some bad traffic obviously 30 cars going around um a 50 odd second lap it's it's tight and we got quite unlucky uh but the good news is is that the car was a lot better and the pace is there um so tomorrow will be very much head down and um yeah move forward so really positive and a lot better than where we were yesterday Hey guys. Doing a team photo shoot this morning. Where are we going, Dan? Where, Where are we going? going? We're going to the first Q and A of the morning. So um, mega, mega busy day today. I've got like 50, 58 guests. We've got the full crew. Um, so yeah, first Q and A for 20 minutes, and we're going to the other hospitality to do another Q and A for the other guests, and then we've got. Um, first race which is um 11 40 and then uh, yeah into into the race there so yeah mega mega busy day here at so with british touring cars um and these all sorts going on mini genetics so we just finished race one that was um that was absolutely mental and um started ninth and got a good start made some places and i was up to sixth at one point and um everyone we're just crashing into each other. I had a great run onto the start finish gate, but I had to lift because I had about three cars boxing me in. So yeah, back and forth. I accidentally hit my teammate twice. First time I'd give him back the position. Second time battling with another car and he got held up. Um, thankfully, we both made it through without losing any places. But um, yeah, bit of a scruffy race. I ended up P12. Um, pace was good, the car felt good. So yeah, crack on and move on. Uh, it's a shame, like I said, up to sixth in like three laps. So yeah, um, move forward from here. 
So we've just got eight minutes until um, the second race, starting P12, so need to push on and get in for that reverse grid. Uh, we made a tweak to the car and uh, yeah, the pace was good in that one, so keep out of trouble, move forward, get in that reverse grid. Where we're doing it? Down here? Yeah, There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. No worries. So, um, Rick, Rick from <laughs> Rick from Wheel God is being cheeky. He's nicking the front bumper because obviously we've got the brand. <laughs> Been through too many of them this year. <laughs> Ready for race three. How are we feeling, Jack? Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, race two was tough. Uh, it was a little bit messy and. Um, yeah, we ended up 15th, 15th, just not wrong place, wrong time today on the circuit, but it's okay. Some days go your way, some days don't, so um, we've got to get stuck in in, cheers man, uh, get stuck in in race three, so let's go. So the, the weekend's over, um, I'm <laughs> treating Emma that to a lovely meal. Um, I am absolutely shattered and um, it's been a crazy day, absolutely crazy. I've not really done a lot of filming, um, just because we had 56 guests there today, different sponsors, different people, different groups, and it was just nuts, as well as all the team sponsors and everything like that. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit nuts. So the third race, I started 15th, and it was just a fight, honestly, it was nuts. Literally, like, cars going off left, right, and centre, Four cars going into one corner, safety cars, it was just non stop. On the first safety car, it was like that nuts. I remember I went over the radio to my engineer, I was like, hell. <laughs> we got through to 11th and um, just not really our day today. We didn't really make the ground up at the start of the day. We got a bit unlucky in wrong position, wrong time. And it could have been a different day. I said to my engineer at the end, if we would have put our car in P3, we would have finished P3. We had good pace, we had a good car. We just got unfortunate, you know, it's because it's so tight around Silverstone. Um, people going for obviously moves and getting stuck in. And if you get caught on the wrong side, you yeah, just need a bit, bit of luck at, at times. It didn't quite go our way, but we still, still finished in the points in three races. And to be honest, I just, at the end of it all, I feel really grateful that I'm even racing this weekend. Um, so I'm, I'm happy, I'm positive and we had a good pace so definitely go to Brands Hatch feeling confident and um, love the GP circuit so as long as I finish on the high I'll be I'll be over the moon. After the season that we've had I'll, be, I'll just be happy to finish off on a high and car in one piece and yeah, yeah so it's all good and um, I need to eat this because it's going to go cold. What do you get Emma? I got fish. And some chips. No meat for me. Rookie order. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, didn't do that much filming this this weekend, but um, yeah, bring on Brian Satch.